thing right. like that. And they scratch their, they can't get that. Right. That's all, that's, that's what he wants me to do. Well, where do you work? I work for him. Right. Doing what? Whatever he tells me. That's well, right. how much you make? My benefits are out of this world, amen. Amen, yes, sir. Don't get paid so much down here, buddy. But they going to come a day, Brother Andrew. Amen. God pays off. It ain't always on Friday. Payday ain't always on Friday, but he's going to pay. Right. That'll be a payday. Look here. i, I got to get somewhere. Psalm 98 and verse 1. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory. How do you get? Well, how do you do it, brother? Give God the glory. Amen, yes, sir. Give right. him the glory. Amen. Ain't nothing about you, son. Amen, yes, sir. You sing beautiful play. Boy, I wish I could play. Man, I can't, my fingers, I can't even bend the end of them. They've been from fighting. Just knuckles busted. We and that brother was talking about arthritis. Shot. Man, I, you know why I don't wear tennis shoes? Tennis shoes are for sports and running from the law. And I can't do neither one. So I don't wear tennis shoes. Hey, man, I wear boots. So how do you do it? Give God the glory. Give God the credit. Hey, if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be sitting here tonight. Right. Why in the world, son? You go to glory land. Huh? Why in the world do you want to drive 100 miles one way? Because it's worth driving for. Right. Right. Not me. God! God gets the glory. What the brother saying to God? Be the glory. Great thing. He weighed what he couldn't do. What he couldn't right. do for me. Amen. God done. Right. That day Shut me up in my veins with something. Yes, sir. Amen. I had to go back to the AA meeting, the NA meeting, somewhere down the road here. Didn't want to go no more. They called me up wanting, wanting the juicy. Everybody wants the juicy, man. They don't want to hear the boring stories. You no, know, I slept all day. You know, no, let's get some juicy. I stood up with God full of my heart and I said, You look at here. My name's James R. Sims. I've been delivered. Amen. The Bible says that, that God and Jesus came to destroy the Amen. works of Satan. Amen. Hey, look, I, I know I'm getting long, but listen to me. I I was content that day just to be saved. Right. Amen. Amen. I didn't know. Man, I had no idea that I wasn't going to have to do cocaine. I didn't know that I could go home and flush it all down the toilet. I thought that I was going to be shooting up dope, snorting dope. But I'm saying going to heaven. Right. Listen, Amen. listen to me. Hey, but God destroyed that. And then the son, he changed my walk too. I didn't want it no more. Right. I didn't desire it no more. All I wanted to do was serve him. That's right. Amen. Give him praise, honor, glory. Try to put a smile on his face. Say son, and make him slap his knee and say, I like that. Amen. So what do you do? Find your glasses. Give God the glory. Amen. Because of him, some young man named Andrew goes to his grandpa and says, Grandpa, or he comes to you, I don't know, says, hey, let's do something with that building out there. Put some cues in it, pull a pit in it, put some air in it, and do something with it, Grandpa. Let's try to get a few men of God in here and just try to worship God and give him some glory. Why? Because he deserves it. Amen. Revelation 4.11 right. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive honor and glory. It's the Lamb of God. It's all right there. There's a five, six point outline right there. Study it sometime. Why? He's done marvelous things. Right. I mean, there ain't, nobody, hey, there ain't nobody in my life ever cared for me like Jesus. Yes, sir. I told one of the brothers, my mom put me out on the streets of Atlanta when I was 10 years old. I don't know how in the world I got back home now. I don't know. But here I am. I believe if I'd have stayed up there, I never got saved. Amen. He's done some marvelous things. And then 1 Corinthians 15. Everybody knows this as, as, as the resurrection chapter. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And we're through 1 Corinthians chapter 15. For the sake of time, you go home and read the whole chapter. And look, I'm talking about, I'm talking about you, brother, brother look. Put this, put this down, put this down in your notes, brother. I got it down in mind. That King James Bible is the only Bible, the only Bible. Right. That while you're reading it, it's reading you. Yes, sir. Amen. That's why they don't want to read it. That's 
Because it reads them and it tells them you're wicked as hell. Right. You're full of the devil. Oh, no, no, not me. I don't want no part of that boat, man. And they go out and get them one new. The Bible says all scripture is given. It didn't say all verses. Right. It said all scripture. What scripture? The King James Bible. Right, sir. And it reads you while you're reading it. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. Look what it says. But thanks be to God. Now listen to me real quick. What did we start off with? Thanks be to God. What are we ending with? Thanks be to God. It's all book. Five words, but thanks be to God. Right. Or is that four? It don't matter. It's still good. That's right. right. Where I'm at is four or five. Depends on how many, how many things you got. <laughs> I said, I tell them down there at Brother Jimbo's church, I said, I can take my boots off and I can count to 22. And they never got it. <laughs> I got two big toes on each foot. I don't know freaking nature, so I don't know. But anyway, first Corinthians 15, 57, thanks, but thanks be to God. Yeah, that's five words, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory. Now here it is. Didn't he say give God the glory? We read it in Psalm 98, give God the glory. Right. So who are you going to give it through? Buddha? Harry Christian? That Mormon guy, Joseph, Joanne Smith, or whatever his name is, give it through the Lord Jesus Christ. I worry about these people that come up and just say, yeah, I, I know Jesus Christ. Get them to say, he said that spirit of Antichrist. Right? You, you want to see somebody get mad? Get them to say the Lord Jesus Christ. Boy, you got a fight on your hand. It's worth in holy wisdom to you, man. Just trying to get them to say, what's so hard about saying the Lord Jesus Christ? But if you've got that spirit in you, it ain't no problem. Right. Say, I, I, brother, I ain't never met you, but there's something about you that our spirits bear witness with one another. Right. I, I mean, but it might not bear My brother, man, he mess head up in Atlanta, Georgia right now, man, and, and, and calls me come down and visit me, and I, I asked him, I said, I said, Bruce, I want to ask you something. He said, what? I said, if you were to die right now, if you want percent you go to heaven? He said, uh, yeah. And then got mad because I asked him. Something ain't right. It don't bother me one bit for somebody to ask. I got a tag on my truck that says, the party in hell has been canceled due to the fire. Amen. All right, I have people come up and tell me, man, I like that. I like that right now. I'm fixing to have one made uh, 21st century signs that said if Jesus, if the Lord Jesus Christ would have came back five minutes ago, where would you be, heaven or hell? Amen. It don't bother me. You've asked me about my salvation. So what do you, how, do you, how do you do it, Christian? How do you do it? First of all, thanks to God. How? Through the Lord Jesus. Right? Because it's Amen. all because of him. If it wasn't for him, look here. I'd be doing the same thing that we're doing tonight. I'd be the same, I'd be doing the same thing, but I'd have a bottle of blood dumber in one hand, some weed in the other, and I'd be standing around a fire barrel somewhere. And we'd be singing songs, man. Right. Old redneck country songs. We'd be singing them songs. Yes, sir. Right. But because of God. Through the Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Sir. I've got he said, I'll give you a new song. I've got a new song to sing. He put a different desire. Yes, sir. You want to know what makes me strange, brother. I, you can look in that satchel over there. Nothing to brag about. But look in my satchel, brother, and, and there's notes and notes. And I, I shared it with one of you fellas when we first come in. Paul told Timothy, he said, Timothy, the things that thou hast heard of me. The same, commit thou to faithful men that they may be able to teach others also. Right. And I don't believe you are to call, ask. I, I don't do that. When I go somewhere, listen to me. If you're an evangelist or missionary, trying, whatever you are, man, let me give you some advice. When you go to a church, don't ask for money. That's God's business. God provide. Does it look like I'm going home? Huh? Does it look like I'm walking? 
Brother, somebody said, I like the truck. That's a gift from God. Right, amen. That's a, that's a twelve thousand dollar truck that I got for eighty two hundred and something. Payments are ninety nine dollars a month. Thirteen months is paid off. You do the math. How's that figure? God, amen. God do that, man. God, God said, Hey, I'll put you on the road. That's right. Just trust me. You just do what I say. Say what I tell you to say. I'll put you on the road somewhere. Yes, sir. Just step out by faith. Amen, brother Andrew. Come on, brother. I'm through. Amen. Good message. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, page 56. The Baptist Temple. What I'm trying to say is I've been looking for somewhere to share this with somebody. Amen. So when Brother Andrew called, I jumped. Uh, Lord yeah. God, yeah, brother. Because if God opens the door, man can't close it. But if you open it, man can close it. That's right, man. Let's sing this one together. Let's pray. Let's sing this. If anybody needs to pray. What's page? 56. 56. What's the name of Man of Sorrows? Sorrows. You might already know it. Yeah. Well, anybody needs to be praying? There's, there's an altar 56. I'll see. We'll sing this together. And um, uh, then I'll go ahead and sing one. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Just, just do what you feel led to do. And um, glory to God for his precious word and for men that are on. Um, that love his word enough to study it, to share with us. Amen. Man of sorrows, what a name for the Son of God who came, ruined sinners to reclaim. Jesus, I shall 
right. Yes. Uh, Amen. Praise the Lord, Brother Andrew. Come from the lead stop. Amen. I'm Amen. thankful for everything that was done here tonight. <laughs> uh, it's 9 o'clock. We would still be at home watching football or baseball, whatever in the season. I don't know. Amen. We'd still be at home Good. doing that. We'd do that for four hours. Can't we? <clears throat> so, so we can come here right. and we can cry, cry loud. Amen. <laughs> And we can spare not. Hey! That's right. okay to do on a Tuesday night. Yeah. We're right. peculiar people, right? Yeah, amen. amen. That's right. Okay. Come okay. Come I trust I trust everything seven. is uh all as Brother Joe would say, all hearts and minds are at peace. Yeah. <clears throat> no questions, no comments about anything said here tonight. I know we're all Bible believers. That's what this is, is Bible believers, Baptist fellowship. Oh. Let me, let me ask this, Brother Andrew. Yes, sir. I, I see that there's no women here. Yes, sir. Is there a reason for that? Um, no, sir. I, I've got a very, very unusual life.